Geoscience Australia provides specialist advice, knowledge and capability in response to some of Australia's most important challenges. This includes managing the nation's marine jurisdiction and maintaining geoscience knowledge and capability. Geoscience Australia is supporting the multinational search effort to find missing Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. Its scientific teams provide advice and expertise to Australian government agencies, the Joint Agency Coordination Centre and the Australian Transport Safety Bureau. This collective effort has enabled the mapping of over 200,000 square kilometres of sea floor in a remote area of the southern Indian Ocean. Undertaking a search in an area of this magnitude, remoteness and complexity is an involved process which draws on multiple techniques, technologies and experts from a range of disciplines. Previous maps of the MH370 search area have been derived from satellite data, only providing an estimate of the ocean depth. Such low-resolution maps cannot safely guide navigation during an underwater search, which requires more detailed knowledge of underwater features. A high-resolution map can be created through a comprehensive bathymetric survey, which collects high-resolution data from the sea floor. Bathymetric data is gathered through the use of multi-beam sonar equipment mounted on a ship's hull. The sonar system sends out multiple sound waves that bounce off the sea floor and return to the ship. The delay between sending and receiving a signal provides a measurement of ocean depth. The strength of the return signal provides an indication of how hard the sea floor is. The ship proceeds through the search area in overlapping lines to systematically capture depth information. Overlapping the lines increases confidence in the accuracy of the mapping and helps to address gaps in the data which may occur due to factors such as bad weather. Scientists working at Geoscience Australia review, correct and analyse the data to create three-dimensional models and maps that reveal details of the sea floor. Bathymetric mapping during the search for MH370 has revealed a detailed picture of the underwater landscape, identifying potential hazards to navigation within the search area. These include large mountains and deep trenches, some of which plunge to more than 6,000 metres below sea level along with sea mounts and ridges, like this one, which is 34 kilometres long. The bathymetric map is an essential navigation tool for the more detailed underwater search. Using the bathymetric map to safely navigate at a much closer range to the sea floor, the Joint Agency Coordination Centre and the Australian Transport Safety Bureau carry out the underwater search. Search vessels slowly tow a small submersible vehicle or towfish on a cable around 10 kilometres long. The towfish descends thousands of metres down through the water until it travels approximately 100 metres above the sea floor. The towfish operates a side scan sonar that maps features on the sea floor in much greater detail. It gathers data up to one kilometre on either side of its path. The side scan sonar sends out pulses of sound that reflect off seafloor features. Some types of material, such as boulders, gravel, volcanic rock or metal, reflect the sound waves more strongly than fine sediments like clay and silt. To accurately capture data, the towfish travels at very slow speeds of only 3.5 kilometers per hour. Interpretation of the captured data produces images that resemble black and white photos and reveal a great degree of detail about features on the sea floor. The collection of this highly detailed data aims to identify any crucial evidence of the missing aircraft. Scientists and experts from many and varied disciplines continue to work together to assist in the ongoing search efforts for MH370. The different types of data required and analysed through their efforts has proved critical to understanding the environment in which the search is operating. In future, 
Data from the bathymetric survey will also form a permanent record of this deep ocean and contribute to new scientific knowledge and understanding.